Hello, my name is Inga Savage and I'm a shoe designer. What made you become a shoes designer? Well, it all started from my desire to be a designer, but of the clothing. And during that period, I met some people who invited me to be a fashion model. And during my fashion years, it was the best school because I was working with the big designers. It was only the best. Like, uh, I would work with Yves Saint Laurent, uh, Valentino, uh, Versace, Dior. I've been walking, like kilometers on podiums in any kind of possible and impossible shoes and always from there I started to get interested about the, how it's possible to work on such a small space and why some shoes are comfortable and not comfortable and also when I was a little girl I have a very high arch so for me it was always difficult to find a perfectly fitted shoe so already there I was kind of struggling like I couldn't find shoes uh, which I loved or I would see a perfect shoe and it was, I wouldn't be able to fit it. So it's always stayed in my mind and after all these years being modeling and trying on and showing clothing, I decided that shoe is something that gives a, such a beautiful accessory to the whole look. Like it's, impo- it's not very important what you're really wearing but the shoe can accentuate on your mood, it can show how you feel and it can, it can give you an attitude and of course you can wear a beautiful dress and with a perfect pair of shoes you can kill it or you can look beautiful. What's the theme of your next collection? My mind traveled to ancient Egypt and Persia, uh, worshipping and harnessing the sun and remembering the stories I was reading about Egyptian princesses when I was a little child and um, researching the cultures, uh, I found elements uh, from extravagant costumes, uh, ceremonial costumes, and for example, it gave um, ideas for the laser work and uh, metal work uh, for the shoes. And also there is like, I have lots of um, lacing, and that came from the wigs, beautiful thick wigs. To enrich the color palette, I kind of loved with the roller bird from Sahara, a region of Africa. And uh, it's amazing how Mother Nature gives uh, life to such a beautiful combination of colors. And uh, also I did a little um, collaboration uh, with um, the editor of L'Officiel in Paris, uh, Emile Minkila, and we created a very simple but essential sandal and uh, where you can also see embroideries uh, but we're inspired by Egyptian coins. So it's all about, it's lots of sun, uh, gold, turquoise. In order to make this collection, uh, what materials did you use? This time I went, uh, it's uh, much lighter because normally I use lots of uh, uh, hair cuff skin, but this time I didn't use it at all. So it's mostly um, cuff and snake and uh, napa, what is like a lambskin. And then, uh, for example, I created this um, accessory in metal, what is done by hand, piece by piece. So that gives uh, a freshness to the sandal. And also jeans, jeans. But then in a way, it's a white jean with a gold on it. It looks like it's a little bit washed in gold. Every collection when I create is a collection what goes from day to night. There is no like this sandal you can wear only during the day and you have to change to the evening. The idea is to have shoes what you can wear and not like to have it in a bag because it's not comfortable because the heel is too high and I wear the sneaker and then the shoe. The shoe can work with your outfit from morning to the evening and I think it's really important. Finally, who's wearing Inga? Well, I have to say that it's a woman, and the age is goes from 10 to 85, or even more. But also, as, as you may notice, my shoes, some of the shoes, they have names. For example, my first shoe is Raquel. It's, I was inspired by Raquel Zimmerman, one of the models I used to work together. Then also Isabelle Fontana, or 
girls like um, Diana Gardner. It's mostly the girls with whom I was working in the beginning. Or for example, for the first collection, I had shoes, also what I called Eve for the colors of Yves Saint Laurent. And I have to say, who is wearing shoes? Now, for me, it's important that the woman wear shoes and there is no criteria. This is also a kind of key of my collection because it can be good for a young girl. It could be beautiful. A beautiful woman feels better, feels great in shoes at any age.